A haunting but mesmerizing scene from the wildfires in Sonoma County. A man came across this tree burning from the inside out. Matthew McDermott was driving around looking for escape routes as multiple fires closed in on the area he was in. The tree appears that to be hollowed out by embers and flames. Can, can I ask you a question about some of the technology that you're developing to fight the war on terror, specifically directed energy and high-powered microwave technology? Do you, uh, when do you envision that you can weaponize that type of technology? Mm -hmm. Goodness. Um, it, is, it is in, for the most part, the kinds of things you're talking about are in varying early stages. Do you want to give anything you'd add? I don't think I would add much. I, no. I, it's, I think they are in early stages and, and, and probably not ready uh, for employment at this point. In, in the normal order of things, when you invest in research and development and begin a developmental project, uh, you don't have any intention or expectations that one would use it. Uh, on the other hand, the real world intervenes from time to time and you reach in there and take something out that is still in a developmental stage and you might use it. So it, the I, it's not, your question is not answerable. It, is, it, is, uh, it depends on what happens in the future and how, how well things move along the track and whether or not someone feels it's appropriate to reach into a development stage and see if something might be useful, as was the case with the unmanned aerial vehicles. But you sound like you're willing to experiment. I, I think that's the point. And I think and it's, we, we have, I think, from the beginning of this conflict, I think General Franks has been very open to looking at uh, new things if there are new things available and has been been willing to, to put them into the fight even before they've been fully <laughs> wrung out. And I think that's uh, not referring to these two particular cases of directed energy or, or high-powered microwave, uh, but, but sure.
this is the only fire in the whole wide world that's considered a forest fire where the forest did not burn. The forest didn't burn here. All the glass melted. All the all the structural materials that used to be a house have disappeared. They they have disappeared. You have a couple of bent poles here. A couple of um, of of poles that are bent, but you have absolutely no materials. The houses have not fallen. The houses have disappeared. The materials of, of these contents of these houses are gone. I want to show you where these fires are. Because if you're like me, you didn't know that there were 14 separate fires. How did 14 separate fires start over such a wide area? You guys, this isn't normal. This is not how it, how it works. And this is not just that the home is left standing. These homes, it's, it's only one home left. These homes didn't fall. These homes didn't burn. These homes disappeared. There's nothing left. There's not even a toilet bowl or a bathtub or a kitchen sink. The rest of the stuff is all gone. This is impossible. This is just not normal. What on earth has happened here, people? Look at this glow. This is not a normal glow. This is not a normal glow. This is electromagnetic frequencies in this air. This is not a flame. This is not from a flame. There is, this, see this halo here on the screen over here to the right? There's just, this is not a, nor there's something in the energy level in this atmosphere that is just completely messed up. You guys, where are the steel beams that held this house together? Where are the appliances? How come the how come the plastic things are still in place? What is this? What what's going on in this picture, you guys? Look at this metal. Just look at this. It's all twisted. Look at this. What happened to this car? What happened to this car? Where's the rest of it? Where is the rest of this car, you guys? Where Where is it? There's no top. This is not a convertible. You can see by the doors. This wasn't a forest fire. Because look at the forest did not catch on fire. But the house disappeared. The house is gone. The materials in this house are absolutely 100% they're just gone. There's nothing left. Now this one really, you guys, this one we really... This one, if, if you guys don't see September 11th all over this, then you guys are blind because look at this, this is an I-beam. This is a steel I-beam and it's just completely twisted and bent. These are some sort of weapon, energy weapon. This is something, I don't even know what to say, you guys, but this is not a fire. Metal doesn't bend and split. This I-beam is split in the middle. Look at that. This I-beam is split in the middle. That does not happen in a fire where all the trees, and look at the brand, the leaves on the trees are still fine. This, they, These are pine trees, people. Pine trees burn like, I said, if you light a cigarette near one too closely, you'll burn the whole tree. Look at this, let's look at the, the, these twigs. How can the twigs be standing and the metal be bent? What What the hell happened here? This looks like a ribbon. This, 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 this cast iron, fencing looks like a ribbon it does not this is not normal all the contents of these buildings have disappeared look at this it's just completely twisted and, and, and disintegrated there's just there's nothing left here look at this what happened to this car what happened to the building? How did how did everything in the entire building look? If you can look, you guys look look. Here's the thing, I just showed you. Inside a forest fire, it doesn't. It's not a complete combustion because you're not in a chamber. It's not in a, enclosed chambers. Okay. At this point, the highest temperature of the of the fire has already passed. From here on out, it's going to cool, and the fire's going to go away. Why? Because there's there's the oxygen is consistent. It, you, it runs out, it, it can't do a complete total burn. 
pure combustion, to, to just, just to combust materials down to nothing requires a vacuum-like chamber with a, a complete constant flow of oxygen. That's why it takes so long to burn a body. You have to have it in a furnace or to melt metal. You have to have it in a furnace. It, it doesn't happen like this. This does not happen in open air. Unless there's something really messed up. And see, what I'm saying is that all the building contents, everything that was here, all the drywall, all the, all the metal, all the steel beams, all the, all the wood, everything is just completely turned to dust. That doesn't happen on an out open air fire. Clearly, because if it, if it did, then these trees would, would have been burned. But there's something that's happened inside these buildings. Something specific that, that, that messed this all up. Something really messed up is happening here, guys. Look at, there's a steel case. There's a steel file cabinet. And there's a dishwasher or something. And a metal garbage can. But look at, what happened to the legs? What happened to the aluminum legs on the stainless steel grill? Whatever it was made these things just just bend, the metal bent. It's like, I don't know, it, it's such a complete and perfect burn. There, there has to be something that bypassed the obligation to have an enclosed space with constant feet of oxygen. Because those are the laws of physics. The laws of physics d regulate that, that, that metal does not bend and, and, and melt and that you need a certain enclosed space with constant feet of oxygen to create a furnace. And this is like something has created furnaces out of these buildings. This is not normal. 